So I want to talk about how to make an animated GIF. But before we make an animated GIF, let's look at an animated GIF together and kind of break down the elements. So I want you to open up the example GIF that I provided to you um, in a browser. So I'm going to open up this animated GIF in Safari. So I'm going to go to Safari, or you could use Google Chrome, or you could use Firefox. Any, any browser should work. So go File, Open, Open File, in Safari at least, and open up the image that I gave you called Photoshop 300 by 600 Animated GIF. So animated GIFs play in browsers, meaning they play on web pages. You design them for a web page. For example, this is an ad, 300 and 600 animated banner ad for a Photoshop conference. And you're going to be making one of these based off your own Photoshop poster. So just take note, this animated GIF, there's a few elements that are, that are changing to make it animated. And the big one that seems to be changing is the background color. It's going from blue to pink to orange. Um, and then also that five in the center is changing from gold to black. All right, so this is how the animation looks and appears. Let's now go to the native file in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, I want you to open up the other image that I gave you called Photoshop Web Ads 300 by 600.psd. And when you open this animated um, GIF file up, uh, you'll notice in the layers file, there's folders. Um, that are breaking down the different components of this ad. But under the folder called Smoke Effect, you'll see that this designer made a hue and saturation clipping mask um, that is affecting this, this layer called Smoke Effect. Um, so what we want to do is we want to create an animation sequence with at least six images. Um, and the way that we're going to do this is we're going to make six variations um, of this image with different color backgrounds. And this is really easy. I'm going to click on my hue and saturation adjustment layer for this image. And I want you to do this too. Uh, the original is purple. So let's go ahead and save this first version of this ad as a purple background. So we're going to go to File, Save, uh, Export, I'm sorry, Save for Web Legacy. And I've got my four up open and I'm going to choose JPEG medium. It looks like a JPEG medium 50% quality is about 43 kilobytes. Maybe I'll bring it down a little bit more. Let's see what low looks like. Low's a little bit blurry. So I think I might go to 25 quality, um, which is a little bit higher. It looks like it's 27 K. So I have my first purple, um, add static add to save. I'm going to save to this folder I created called animated 300 by 600. And I'm going to save this first one as Photoshop web adds 300 by 600. I'm going to put my cursor behind the 600 and I'm going to call this one. So we've got a purple, a purple JPEG. So let's go ahead and change the color from purple to pink. So this will be my second export, save for web legacy. Here's my 25 quality, and I'm going to save this one um, as version 2. So I've got 1 and 2. And the numbering of these matters. You want to name them, name them with uh, number them so you know how to import them in the next step. I'm going to change the color again. Let's see if I can get a yellow file export save for web legacy i'm going to choose this uh, jpeg 25 quality again and i'm going to name this version three so i've got one two and now a yellow three and i'll do i'll do a green file export save for web legacy green and here's four I'm going to do four just for now for time um, so that we're uh, quick. Um, maybe I'll do one more. It's easy, right, guys? Export, save for web legacy. Got my JPEG quality. And we'll do five for now. 
So I've got five different variations on the color background of this, this image. Um, okay, so we've changed the background color. We've exported five different versions of this. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and stop here, save this, and we're going to move to the next step in the next tutorial.